Hey everybody, this is Boise Mike with Two Rocks and a Donkey. I'm gonna work on some poker this morning, uh, doing a little GTO study. I like to use hybrid poker as one of my tools. And I, I practice practically every day, practically every morning, uh, at least 10 hours a week. It's important to get these studies in if you wanna improve your win rate. And there's plenty of spots that I'm still weak in. And, and so we're gonna practice one of those spots today. Uh, you can see pre-flop, I struggle with the squeeze sometimes. Um, so we, we have a score uh, for each of these spots pre-flop. You, you can see it's a scale of one to 100. And the squeeze is yellow. I've got a score of 62, that's pretty weak. So I need to practice it today. Uh, let's take a look at that. All right, and so what is the squeeze play? In, in this spot, we're in the big blind and we're going to be in the big blind uh, throughout this practice. And uh, squeeze, you have somebody that uh, does a raise first in and you have a couple of callers. So now there's a bunch of money in the pot, right? Uh, we have over seven big blinds and we'd really like to take that down. And if we have a hand where we just like to take the chips down. We, we also want it to be strong enough to play somebody heads up and we're going to raise big enough um, to get it to heads up, hopefully, or just get them to fold. Um, so with uh, ace queen offsuit here, of course we wanna squeeze this. Think about the sizing here. GTO is recommending a, a sizing of 12. Uh, so let's do uh, some simple math. Uh, you take the raise first in, multiply it by about four, okay? So you have a little over eight, and then you're going to add up all of the uh, the rest of the uh, dead money here. And so you have uh, two colors. So you have eight uh, plus two plus two. Now we're a little over 12. Um, you could pop it up to uh, 13 or 14. I think that's perfectly fine, but GTO is saying 12 is good enough. And uh, to get bluffs through, a lot of the times we want to go uh, big enough to get people to fold, but small enough to uh, make our bluffs more profitable. The ace queen is a squeeze 100% of the time, uh, but let me show you what you can do uh, choosing between uh, raise and a fold. Uh, you can do some combination of both and pick the frequency and uh, you can slide it up and down with your mouse. I'm not gonna fold this. I'm definitely going to squeeze. All right, GTO agrees. Um, if we need to learn all of the hand combinations that we would squeeze with and, and what frequency. You can hit this question mark right here, which I help um, I find really helpful. And uh, it gives you a chart of the combinations you're going to squeeze with and at what frequency. If the uh, square is completely filled with uh, orange, of course that's a 100% squeeze. Uh, the purple indicates a fold, and so you could, you see some of these combinations are, are uh, mix uh, frequency. All right, so let's pick a couple uh, different spots. Ah, oh, we get four bet here. That's gross. <laughs> okay, um, ace queen offsuit, getting four bet but cut off. Uh, let's think through this. So this is why we practice these spots because I don't have all these memorized. I'm inclined to fold this a lot. Um, let's see. Yep, I would say that's about 100% fold. You could pick some... GTO wizard says you fold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and there's some differences between GTO Wizard and, and Hybrid Poker. Um, I find both tools really helpful. I use both. Uh, but is there a frequency of calling? Is there a frequency of raising with the Ace Queen offsuit? I don't think so. I think this is 100% fold. Ah, look at that. 
it's 91% fold, 9% call. Um, in reality, when you're playing live poker, uh, you're probably just going to go with the standard and fold if you're playing against uh, somebody who's not a maniac. If they're a maniac, then you know you're you're going to be calling. So you can adjust exploited exploitatively um, to the way that they're playing. All right. All right. This next uh, spot we have suited Broadway. Of course, queen, queen 10 suited, a suited Broadway we're going to squeeze. All right, but it's also giving us the option to, to call here too. So sometimes we're going to call this queen 10 suited, uh, definitely. Um, so I'm trying to think what the mix would be. I'm not quite certain. Notice how the last hand it was squeezer fold. There was no call option. Uh, that I would say is because there were three other players in the hand. This time we only have two and uh, we'd be playing out of position versus the two. Um, we no longer have the small blind involved. So I think uh, that's why uh, there is some calling frequency here. Uh, I would be inclined to call this a lot. Um, you're closing the action and queen 10 suited will play well after the flop. Um, but I'm also inclined to squeeze it sometimes. So let's go with like a 45% squeeze, 55% call. Look at that, I was off. <laughs> you notice that I, I scored a 62 in this spot. Um, I do have uh, uh, a weakness in this area and that's why I'm practicing it. So let's, Look at the chart. Okay, that's good. So suited broadways are almost all 100% squeeze. That's really easy to memorize. Uh, the ace 10 suit is, is the only exception and it's mixed frequency. All right, that's pretty simple. I'll remember that going forward. Okay. Uh, we like to call here. We don't like to raise with pocket fours. We're just hoping to spike a set. Yep, there you go. And look, let's look at all the pocket pairs. You can see that Big Blind likes to call with most of their pocket pairs. All right. Until you get to pocket jacks. Okay, so if you have a premium pocket pair, there, then you're going to be squeezing. Um, something else interesting to note, let's see if we have any of these spots pop up. Suited connectors, especially um, low suited connectors, uh, like to squeeze. That's pretty interesting. And, and you know, the reason behind that is out of position, you can realize your equity quite well uh, with suited connectors. Um, so that's, that's a pretty interesting spot to squeeze. If you get four bet um, with most of these suited connectors, you're going to call the four bet every time. That's also interesting to note. All right. Um, king nine offsuit is not very strong. Uh, we have the king as a blocker. Uh, so blocking pocket kings, uh, ace kings, some uh, Broadway suited kings that might want to play after uh, squeeze. Um, so I would say I'm going to call this uh, at some frequency and I'm also going to squeeze this just because of the king blocker. Um, this is this is kind of low on my range right now in this spot, uh, which is why we like to give it a squeeze as a bluff. And if we get four bet, we're dumping this garbage. Uh, let's say it's a 25% squeeze. Oh, look at that. I'm totally off. Um, I Something I've realized about my play is I tend to go a little too aggressive. So 
Um, that's where I can be exploited is I, I go a little more aggressive than I, sh I should play. Um, that's, that's why I tend to um, want to squeeze in the spot where I probably shouldn't. So let's take a look, look at the offsuit. Oh, there you go. Uh, King 10 offsuit is where we want to start squeezing and King Jack offsuit. Okay, so that's pretty easy to remember too. Uh, we like the offsuit Broadway cards. Uh, notice all of the off, offsuit Broadway combinations are uh, squeezing at some per frequency. Uh, once we get down to a nine is the low card, um, then we're, we're only squeezing the 10-9 offsuit and the ace-9 offsuit at a small frequency. Okay, good to know. We'll play a couple more hands. Okay, um, so suited Broadway. Remember, we're squeezing almost all suited Broadways. Ace-10 suited was the only exception where uh, there's a mixed frequency of call and squeeze. Now, the spot that I was looking at before, though, uh, was a cutoff open and a button call, uh, small blind folded. So maybe that changes the frequency. I bet it does, um, but I bet it's fairly close. So ace 10 suited, I think it's close to a 50-50 is my guess. Maybe you want to squeeze a little more often, uh, but let's go with 50-50. 60-40, there we go. Okay, the chart doesn't look too much different from the other spot. Look at these suited connectors, how much they want to squeeze. Six, five suited, 100% squeeze. Isn't that interesting? And then when you show up with uh, a, a straight, like uh, when the um, uh, seven, four, three shows up on the board, uh, the person in position with say pocket tens or pocket jacks, whatever they have, thinks there's no possible way that you have the straight there. It's beautiful. Oh, even better, they hit their set. Let's say they turn their set of jacks. That's just nasty. You can stack them. Okay. Um, Ace three suited, I think is a hundred percent call. Uh, we do like to squeeze some of these low suited aces, uh, but primarily it's going to be ace four suited and ace five suited, I believe. Um, so let's do a hundred percent call here. Double check, yeah, ace four suited, ace five suited. Interesting, there's a little bit of ace two suited as well. Two more hands. Okay, we like to squeeze the ace five suited. I think it's kind of a lower frequency though. Oh shoot, we're in small blind, this is different. I was thinking big blind. Yeah, small blind, we don't like to uh, flat here very often. Um, Actually, I'm inclined to maybe fold at some frequency. Let's say 35%, sure. Um, and let's do 40% squeeze and a 25% call. Wow, I'm way off. Look at that. Okay, ace five suited, ace four suited. I want to do a combination of squeezing and calling. Ace five suited wants to squeeze more often. Good to know. Okay, here's something that um, a, a lot of people are very mixed on. Uh, do you have a calling range from small blind? Uh, when, when somebody uh, opens. Yes, yes, you do. GTO says, uh, yes, you do. Hybrid poker. So keep that in mind. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there 
in, including Jonathan Little, that will say there's no range that you flat with in small blind. And, and I disagree with that. Uh, look at all these pairs that want to um, set mine. And then if you bring in uh, the big blind uh, going multi-way set mining, uh, it actually sets you up for potentially large pots. Okay. Also suited connectors. You can see they want to call it some frequency. Some of the lower uh, Broadway suited hands and then uh, some of the suited aces that are have a low card. All right, let's do one last hand. Oh, this is garbage, easy fold. Okay, today I scored a 75, so that's better than the 62 that I've been scoring. <laughs> so uh, my score is gonna go up a little bit. Obviously, I still have a lot of room to, to learn uh, in, in uh, this spot. And that's why I study so much. Um, someday I'm going to bring this up over a 90%. I, I know it will happen. I just got to put in the time and effort. So uh, I hope you all learned something today. I sure did. Um, this is uh, Boise Mike closing out with uh, Two Rocks and a Donkey. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out. Uh, thank you very much.